so you want to be a Mammoth student. Well, come. Let's have a chat. Hey, I'm Sky. I'm a senior biology major at Monmouth University, and I'm going to talk about what the academic experience is like, the social life is like, the location, and whatever else comes to mind. Um, because those are some things that I think people are really curious about when they want to pick a college. So again, this might help you decide if the college is for you. Before we get started, I will link my Instagram down below in case you want to check it out, see what my lifestyle is like. You can direct message me, whatever, um, or if you think I'm cute. Just kidding. <laughs> Alright, let's go. So Monmouth University gives their students a lot of agency. And what I mean by that is um, because you're a small campus and because you only have a classroom of, let's say, about 20 people, sometimes less, sometimes a little more, whatever, um, it gives you the opportunity to kind of get to know your professors and if you work hard and you strengthen your connections that really has come full circle at least for me um, again I'm pretty involved academically um, I do research I've done research since I was a freshman but when we got to this point in the program where there were a lot of classes that I wasn't really interested in um, I was able to kind of switch a few of them out with other classes that were, you know, at the same level, of course. But, for instance, instead of taking cell biology, um, I really wanted to take ecology. Ecology is usually for the MEBP program, but they allowed me to, again, because I worked hard, um, kind of bypass that prereq that's usually required for it and just go right into the class. Um, that being said, I had had that teacher before and worked really, really hard in his class, so he kind of knew I could pull my own weight. Um, but again, Mammoth will allow you to do that as long as you are hardworking. So if you are struggling in a class, Mammoth is really good about having tutors for everything, but those tutors are students at Mammoth who have taken the class. Um, and Mammoth has a really strong peer mentor program, which is something that I was a part of this past year. Um, so basically what that means is that if you are having a problem, whether it's academically or socially, you can go to a peer mentor and you can ask them for help. And it's our job to figure out what's the best thing to do. How can we help you? If you don't know where something is or you don't know how to get help, we can kind of get you into the right direction. So really we're kind of just like, if you have no idea where to find information or what to do, that's what we're there for. So as for our summer classes, our summer classes tend to be a little bit more money, I think, than the other schools. So that's the downer. Um, the upside is that you can take summer classes at a school near you and you just have to like get approval from Mammoth. You'll get an email, it will tell you the forms, they send it out every year before summer. Um, so that's nice. You don't have to worry about like not being connected. Um, it's really easy to find information. So with the whole COVID-19 thing going on, um, Mammoth made our classes pass or fail optional. So if you want to take an A because you got an A, you could take an A. Um, if you got a C but you passed the class, you can change that to just show that you passed it so it doesn't affect your GPA. Um, and yeah, I mean, everything's been like really accommodating and usually when there's something going on, they'll kind of do what they can to make you happy because one, there's not so many people at this school, so you get more attention. Don't you love attention? Because I love attention. And two, they obviously want to like keep you at this school. We are a private school, so we don't depend on state funding, which is why the tuition is expensive. Let's talk about the social dynamics of Mammoth. Um, I am not in a sorority, but I will say that the frats and sororities are all pretty nice. Um, I haven't had any weird or bad experiences with them, and a lot of our friends ended up being in frats. So 
if you're deciding whether or not you should rush, um, as a bio major, that's not something I would do because you're going to be wanting to do research, if, especially if you want to go to grad school or med school. Um, but the good end of that is, again, Monmouth is a small school, so what happens a lot of times is frats and sororities have a little extra room and they kind of want to fill up their parties or mixers and whatnot. Um, so if you have friends, make friends, um, you know, that shouldn't really be a problem. And there are opens too. So again, the party life at Monmouth Monmouth is not reputable for being a party school, but there's still some stuff going on. So if that's okay with you, cool. If you want to go out every night of the week, you're not going to find that here. Um, as for the bars, Long Branch has two main bars that Monmouth tends to go to, and I will withhold their names only because if you want to try your luck doing what you do to get in, um, that's cool. Again, I don't want to say anything like incriminating. Um, I will say that Asbury, the surrounding town, and even Red Bank are pretty strict about who gets in to their bars, if you know what I mean. So, if you're willing to try your luck, try your luck. But, yeah, I'll leave that there. Um, for campus events, there's like always something going on. But in terms of making friends and meeting people, I have found that most of those people I didn't meet through campus events. I met either through my living situation or I met through clubs. As for your living situation, I really recommend dorming your first year. Um, Mammoth is like random for freshmen, so you don't really get to pick where you end up, but I ended up in a suite style. So I was basically, I shared a common room with like eight girls and that was pretty cool. I went random, we didn't know each other and most of us became pretty good friends. I'm a part of a club called Snow Riders. You just go on the trips that you wanna go on to ski or snowboard. You don't have to ski with your group. You can do your own thing, it doesn't really matter. It's really nice. So yeah, clubs like that are nice for somebody who has a busy schedule. Well, there's also a surf club and a sailing club and you don't need experience to join them. They will like teach you, so it's cool. If you wanna do that, take advantage of your opportunities. As for the location, Mammoth is close to two things, the mall and the beach. It's walking distance from the beach pretty nice. Um, it's also close to like Walmart and Target and all of the other things that you need. So you really don't have to worry about like being in the middle of nowhere here. I mean, we're fairly close to New York too. So you can get on the train and be there in like an hour. Um, that's a plus. <laughs> the parking sucks. Okay. But, but there's two sides to that. Um, you're really close to like all of the buildings that your classes are on like you really don't have to do any walking but the parking lot i swear to god is always full right before your class so you're gonna have to get there early and if that's okay with you cool so something you should know about the meal plans is that the points that you can use don't roll over into the next semester, which means you either got to use up your points and eat all your food or you lose that money. So that's the only downer. Um, I will say though that the food is pretty good. We also have like the blue light system. So all over campus are these little blue lights that you can like push and the police will come if something's like going on, if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, if you're worried about like safety, the campus, um, the walk from the academic side to my dorm when I was on campus took about five minutes. So yeah, um, as for safety, it's also like pretty well lit. There's not really any like 
potential or I guess I don't feel like there's a ton of potential for like things to go down so the ultimate question am I glad I went to Monmouth yeah absolutely um part of why I'm making this video is because I had a really good experience here so of course I'm biased but I do also want to be like open and transparent about the information that I'm giving you so you can decide is that like the school that you want to go to again if you want to go to a party school don't go to Monmouth but um oh am I like really good at sports but I don't really know anything about sports so like whatever sports are your thing cool so that's all I got um if you have any questions feel free to comment down below or dm me on instagram and i will try to get back to you as soon as possible i'm not really like a youtuber but we'll see how this goes um yeah hope this helped bye question in the comments down below please shut up do you get you'll hear that i'm sure